Hey peeps, what's up, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go back to stock on your Google Pixel 7, the Pixel 7 Pro, the Pixel 8 or the Google Pixel 8 Pro. So let us say you're running a custom ROM, you have an unlocked bootloader and you want to install your stock factory firmware. How do you do that? Well, for starters, do note that once you go back to your stock factory firmware all your data is going to be lost so make sure you have a backup of all the important data which you have on your pixel 7 the 7 pro the 8 or the 8 pro next up make sure that the battery on your device is charged at least 50 to 60 percent next up you need is adb and fastboot so this here is the official page of developer.android.com and this is from where you can get your sdk platform tools for windows mac or linux this will be a zip file inside that you will have your adb and fastboot now do note if you're doing this on a windows computer you will need drivers how do you get the drivers for adb and fastboot video for that along with all the links which we're using in this video can be found in the description next thing you need is your factory image for your device so you will land up on a page like this so this is developers.google.com slash android slash images make sure on the left menu you have factory images selected and herein it is giving us a warning about 6 and 6 pro and 6a so basically you cannot go back from android 13 to android 12 on these devices now they might have a similar warning for say the pixel 7 pro or the 7 or the 8 or the 8 pro in the future so make sure you do read the warning and do what they say in our case right now we do not have any such warning for our device so we're going to say acknowledge once you acknowledge then you will land up on another page now here in on the right hand side you have a menu so here it is husky is for pixel 8 pro shiba is for google pixel 8 then you also have the pixel 7 pro is cheetah and the pixel 7 is panther in this video i'm using the pixel 7 and we need to download the full factory firmware so we're going to go to the october build of android 14 so this is the build up1a and you have to select link once you select on link it is going to download the full factory firmware for your specific device and let us download it to the desktop now this file is downloading it will take some time so you have to be patient but do note that they do have different builds so you will see over here that for android 13 they have a separate build for verizon and verizon mbnos in september similarly for october they have a separate build for japan pixels so that is something which you need to know whether your device is a verizon pixel whether your device is a japan pixel or not that is something which you need to keep in mind before you download the full factory fast boot flashable firmware for your google pixel so here it is this is the folder we have our adb and fast boot which is platform tools this is a zip file we can unzip it by double clicking on it we got a folder called platform hyphen tools inside this folder you have your adb and you also have your fast boot next up we have the stock factory version android 14 for the google pixel 7 again make sure you download it for your specific device whether it be the pixel 7 the pixel 7 pro the pixel 8 or the pixel 8 pro and then we're going to unzip that as well once you do that we have another folder so here it is inside this folder i have all the files which i need now i recommend you move all these files to the platform tools folder so let me open up another window and then go inside the platform tools folder and then i can select all of these files and drag and drop them to the platform tools folder so here it is this is our platform tools folder and we have all the files which we need so you have fast boot over here you have the stock rom for android 14 for your specific pixel beat the pixel 7 pro the pixel 7 the pixel 8 pro or the pixel 8 next thing we need to do is we need to boot our pixel into fast boot mode so to do that all you have to do is swipe down twice from your status bar on the bottom right you will see the power button tap on that and then select restart as soon as the screen goes black you have to press and hold volume down and pretty soon you should boot into fast boot mode so this is how fast boot mode is going to look like at this point all you need to do is connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable next thing 
Mac and Linux users need to open terminal and Windows users need to open command prompt in this very folder. So if you're running Windows, go inside the folder, go to the address bar, make sure everything is highlighted and selected, delete it, type in CMD, press the enter key, that is going to open command prompt for you. Mac and Linux users, we can go back to the main folder and we can right click on platform hyphen tools, we're going to say new terminal at folder. Now, once you have opened command prompt or terminal, terminal users will use ls space hyphen al and we're going to make sure that we have adb, we have fast boot and we have the stock ROM. So here it is bootloader panther, image panther, which is the pixel 7 and command prompt users can do dir space slash p confirm that you are in the correct folder. Then we need to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not and the command for that is fast boot devices now if you are running mac or linux and you are in terminal you have to enter dot slash before the command if you are running command prompt you do not have to enter dot slash before the command and then we're going to press the enter key and there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode in case your device is not being detected in fast boot mode that means you do not have the drivers installed and as i mentioned in the beginning of the video if you're running windows you have to install the drivers the video for that can be found in the description of this video the next thing for windows all you need to do is go to this file which is your flash hyphen all again flash hyphen all this is a windows batch file and double click on it and there it is you can see that the process of flashing the factory firmware or the factory image on your google pixel device has started now your device might reboot multiple times while this process is going on but again do not disconnect your device why because once the process finishes successfully then this window will close automatically and your device will reboot if you are on mac or linux we need to use the flash hyphen all dot sh file so we need to edit it first we're going to say open with and a text editor now this here is the check the if and the fi is the check for the latest version of fast boot and that is what we actually downloaded so we can remove these checks and then for your fast boot commands you need to enter dot slash before those commands because we are not going to add this to the path not messing with the path variable just add a dot slash before the fast boot commands leave the sleep as it is and then we can say file and save once this file has been saved successfully we can close that editor then we can go back to the main folder wherein we have platform hyphen tools and we need to open terminal over here so in my case i will right click and i will say new terminal at folder then we are going to use dot slash flash hyphen all dot sh and once we've entered the command we're going to press the enter key and bam there it is you can see that the flashing process has started successfully the device is going to reboot two or three times all you have to do is to be patient and once the process has finished successfully your device is going to reboot and you should land up on the setup page and there it is peeps that is how you install the stock factory firmware on your google pixel 7 the pixel 7 pro the pixel 8 and the google pixel 8 pro